All right, so this is the next installment of making this strawberry planter. And I'm sorry for the delay, guys, but it has been wicked hot. And uh, I don't do so well in the heat. So we just, you know, took a minute. But as you can see, we got everything we need here all set up. Got our tools, got some long screws, got these baseboards that we're gonna cut and drill on. And then of course, as always, very important, PPE and T, two essentials. All right, so a couple notes I wanna make on uh, forming this pillar. Uh, if you are like me and you went and got fence planks from one of the big box stores, they were probably wet and that's okay. Uh, and you don't need to use cedar. I used some cedar planks. They were like 250 each or something, but you don't need to use cedar. You can use the regular uh, treated pine ones. That's fine. Um, but when you're drilling these holes in here, as you can see, you kind of want them a little bit below the surface, but not a lot. And um, I've had a few questions about whether or not I pre-drilled the holes. And as you can see right here, you can have some splitting when you don't pre-drill the holes. So this wood was fairly soft because it was uh, wet and I did not let it dry before I started drilling it together. So letting it dry is kind of an optional step. Um, you don't have to, but if you do let it dry, it'll be a little bit easier to work with and you can try pre-drilling the holes, but it's not a mandatory thing that you need to do. But what I would say is that because the wood is so thin, so what you're going to do is, even if you pre-drill the holes, you want to slowly and carefully drill in the screws. Because you don't want to split the wood, you don't want it to go crazy in an off direction and make a hole like it did over here. So just, you know, take it easy, take your time, as always, it'll be safer that way and you'll get a better result. Another thing I want to make a note of is the deck screws that I chose. Uh, I just had these laying around, but they're a good option because they're have a star bit here so it's easier to get them in without them stripping and these are three and a half inch uh, which makes them long enough that they're actually going to go through the end and help kind of hold the bottom in place so just a note on that and what we're going to do is we're going to take these boards and i had the lovely gentleman at home depot cut an eight foot two by four in half for me and then today we're gonna cut this down to the proper size which I think is just gonna be two foot lengths and then we're going to drill them onto the bottom here in an alternating pattern and that'll be it then the strawberry planter should be able to stand unsupported another note I wanted to make is that if you have a lot of birds in your area and critters that like to eat your strawberries or whatever you're putting in there you can actually put like a net over the top and you can secure it to the base where the boards are going to stick out and we'll talk a little bit about that later but I figured out you can get some bird netting and just drape it over the top and then secure it with like some little hooks or elastic or whatever you have at the base. All right, so let's get started. All right, so we have moved the T. We have our PPE here. I don't think I really need gloves. All right, we got our pen and our tape measure. Normally I would say that you need to measure each piece individually, but uh, accuracy is not exactly the most important part of this part of it. So we have just slightly more than four feet, but equally more than four feet. So we're just going to cut this in two foot sections here. I am opting for the ever popular uh, battery powered Ryobi here. It's so amazing. And we're actually going to need to need quite a bit of adjustment here. Alright, this is one and a half. I want the whole bit. There we go. Alright. So, before we get that set up, I'm going to position our wood accordingly. Yep. Okay. And then... Batteries.
other notes to make. Um, this is treated wood, so you definitely want to cut it outside. And it's a good idea to wear a respirator as well as eye protection and hearing protection. But now we have these four pieces and we can start to attach them. All right, so it's bright and early and we're coming back to this. Last time I worked on this, it actually started raining, which, I mean, that's just Michigan weather. Here in the mitten, it's been super hot. So, you know, we're just uh, working around that. I'm not into sweating if it isn't fun. So here we go. Today, we're going to continue putting the base on this strawberry planter. And we're gonna take our two by fours, put on our safety gloves here so we don't get splinters. And basically what we're gonna do is we're going to take the two by fours and we're going to line them up like so. <laughs> And that is going to make our base. And you might think like, wow, that's really quite long. But I think we're going to need that kind of leverage to make sure this thing doesn't blow down in the wind. So yeah, let's see how this goes, right? to our strawberry planter and you can see that the screws go in quite far uh, into the center of this pillar and that's intentional we're actually going to use those screws and we're going to pack some burlap down there and uh, that is going to keep the soil from just washing away and it's still going to allow the planter to drain properly so I guess in our next segment we should probably plant this thing since you know it's only mid-July, we're only a little bit behind. It's fine, that's all we're gonna do today. <laughs> 